Hey everybody, Haku here with my review of this week's new One Piece manga chapter, or One Piece chapter 853, I forget the title. Not here, not here was the title. Um, so uh, yeah, I I really enjoyed this one, it's been two weeks since we had a chapter, and at first I was like, you know, this seems kind of short, and I saw a lot of people saying that, but then I realized there were like two or three two-page spreads, so I think that's why it seemed short, because uh, on a web browser it's probably only like... 12 to 16 pages instead of the usual 16 to 20, but um, that's mostly because we had quite a few uh, dual page spreads. So uh, it really wasn't that short. Um, well, I mean, I guess technically story or panel wise it may have been shorter since there were just the big, really nice artwork panels. But uh, either way, um, starting at the cover, we did get Bartolomeo there, but it was whatever. It was probs meaningless. I looked to see if there was any sort of meaning I could glean from it, and not really. It's just uh, just one of the random, um, what is it called? One of the random user suggestion uh, or um, fan suggestion uh, covers that Oda does. Also, before I get before I get further into this, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, yeah, yesterday, sorry the live reaction was up so late, because I recorded it at like 8 in the morning. I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be up super early, and it's going to get more views than usual, because it'll be up so early and people will see it before other people's. And nope, because right after I got done recording, we had a power outage that lasted like two or three hours. So that was really, really fun. But that's just a random side note that I wanted to bring up. That's why it was up so late yesterday. Now, um... Starting off, we actually have Brooke is captured now. Big Mom captured him and stripped him as well. And she says that there are three homies that, uh, even though he's an enemy to the homies pretty much, he is the Soul King, he's their natural enemy, there are three that are on a totally different level and he can't handle, because they're essentially clones. Instead of just throwing other people's souls and see when, seeing what they landed in, she put her soul in these. And that would be Napoleon the Bicorn, aka her hat, who does seem like it has the ability to communicate over a distance because it was telling her what was going on with stuff that wasn't around her before and if somebody had told her it's on her head so like if somebody had told it she would have been there to hear it herself so uh it seems to be able to remotely communicate not sure with who or how i would assume with other homies but then again she didn't really know what was going on with the straw hats at every given moment during the uh, forest stuff so either way very interesting to uh, talk about Napoleon here and finally getting a name for her hat uh, then of course Zeus the Thunderhead and Prometheus the Sun and this does make me think what the hell I've never seen anybody bring this up yet somehow what the hell is Prometheus because the homies are made by throwing out the soul and putting it into an object. I get she put her soul into a cloud, bam, put her soul into a hat, bam. But Prometheus is a sun, a sun, and a very, very small one that doesn't burn everything up around it. But my question is, how did One Piece have two sons at some point and she just tamed one of them? If so, she's even scarier, but I don't think that's what happened. I'm just so confused at what she put her soul into to make a son. I just, I don't, I don't understand Prometheus. I don't, I really, I, I struggle to. And I just now noticed after all this time, because I just thought, oh, she makes objects all smiley and happy, all smiley and happy. She turns them into homies. I didn't really think how she did that to a son until now. But uh, either way, the chess soldiers, they search Brooke's clothes. And uh, apparently Roger in the past used the voice of all things to read Big Mom's Poneglyph and get to Raftal because of it. So uh, she's pretty pissed about that. She's going to try to use the power herself to get to Raftal next. Um, and we find out that she's going to do that because Pudding is apparently like um, if her third eye opens completely or truly awakens or whatever, she can hear the voice of all things because apparently she is one half three eye tribe which I think is the first time we've heard of it. And, um, yeah, I guess fuck Ohara. The, the world government went in and wiped out Ohara because they were getting close to maybe being able to read Poneglyph when there's this race, this tribe out there, apparently, that apparently they still exist if they're still procreating with Big Mom. Um, so there's this tribe out there that the world government hasn't gone and wiped out 
that can just naturally read it once their third eye awakens or whatever. So that's very, very odd. Um, and Brooke even mentions Pudding's half three eye or something. And so I'm like, um, does Brooke know? Is he just saying that or does he know the three eye? Does he know whatever they are? Because I'm pretty sure as fans, this is the first time we're hearing of it. I couldn't find any earlier instance of it. Pretty certain it was not on the uh, slave trade list way back at the uh, auction. So I have no clue. Which is really, really good because it's showing that Oda's still throwing in new stuff to hit us with some curveballs when it comes to the overarching plot and universe here. Uh, then we actually jump from that to Pedro versus Viscount Chick. And apparently Tamago had the Tamatama no me, um, but he still sucks. He can evolve every time he has destroyed the yoke evolves into something else, but he still just... He, Tamago still sucks. So Pedro lures in all the soldiers by threatening to attack the yoke while it's still evolving and throws some bombs and uses that as a sort of distraction to be able to jump into the mirror world with uh, Chopper and Carrot and Brulee and Diesel. Uh, who are not really with us, they're just, you know, you guys know. They're our uh, would-be um, would hostages at the moment. So uh, then we have Waifu Carrot's drawings of everyone in the, sh in the uh, what is it, a uh, shoujo manga style. I thought, very funny. Um, you have just, especially the funnier, more funny than her drawing that was Pedro mentioning, what, what is that art style? Um, and because of that, the mirrors then find Nami and Jinbei. And just real quick, I had heard some people in the past saying, you know, maybe, because a lot of people were saying, you know, maybe Carrot will join, but she has to have a dream or a job or something. And they're like, oh, she brought up painting. Maybe she actually is a good painter. And actually, that wasn't bad. It was a weird style, but it wasn't bad. So uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know if Carrot would ever become an actual straw hat, but, uh, I, I just think that for the people that were saying that, hey, that's a little bit of evidence for you, I guess, uh, for your theories. Um, so they the mirrors end up saying that they found Nami and she is with Jinbei, so it's really cool to see everybody uh, on the verge of meeting back up. Then lastly, we have Luffy rampaging, and Reiju grabs him and uh, explains everything that's going down, and them thighs, though. But the problem I have is we just learned the, uh, we just got the first images of the new volume cover for One Piece. And it has Sanji and his siblings and fuck those hair colors. Excuse my French, but fuck those hair colors. So apparently if you guys haven't seen it yet, Sanji's siblings have Power Ranger hair. Ichiji's hair is red, Niji's is blue, um, Sanji's is yellow, Yonji's is, um, green of course and then Reiju has pink hair and screw that that looks silly and goofy as hell I mean given Ichiji with red hair does look pretty cool I will admit that but the rest of them just to have them have this rainbow of different hair colors it is I just really would have preferred them to have the different costume colors but to in general have the same blonde hair because it looks goofy it does not look good at all um, so yeah, I am very much against this colorful hair, especially Reiju with pink hair, just no, just looks no. So, um, yeah, do not like, do not want, uh, Yonji with green hair and Niji with blue hair both lo don't look very good either. Honestly, they all would have looked better with the blonde hair, with the exception with the exception of maybe Ichiji, because I will admit that the red hair looks cool, and it kind of, um... No, no, never mind, never mind. I was on the wrong path. Kamina has blue hair. I was like, maybe it's supposed to make him look even more like Kamina, but no, Kamina had blue hair. Um, so yeah, then we see, I like this actually, we see um, Sanji was waiting around and thinking back to everything going on and says, Luffy, we can't go back, and, or something along those lines. And everybody's like, oh, he's saying we can't go back now. Then um, he can't go back. He can't be friends with the Straw Hats. And I'm like, no, I do not think that's what this means at all. I think he's saying that We've got to go against Big Mom. We, uh, we got to fight against a Yonko. There's no going back now. Because when you think about it, there's no going back now. Why would that mean he couldn't go back with the Straw Hats? If he doesn't go back with the Straw Hats, then his family's going to get killed. Or, and or, Zeph's going to get killed. They're going to have to fight against them if he wants both his family and the Baratie to survive and it seems as though even though he hates his family he does want them to at least survive 
So it seems to do that, we're going to have to rise up against Big Mom here. And then, very, very end, Luffy then goes to uh, prepare to wait for Sanji at the place he said he was going to wait for him at. So, things that I love about this chapter, first and foremost, that we are probably, I would think, next chapter getting a Luffy and Sanji reunion that I am expecting to be very, very good. Um, other than that, I like that our characters in general are forming back up together, like um, it seems like Pedro and Chopper and Carrot and everyone are going to be meeting back up with Nami and Jinbei. I like that our characters are finally coming together, because that means we're going to start moving into more of a uh, the climactic action of this arc. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very happy about that, and I'm really looking forward to a reunion between Sanji and Luffy. I think that'll be really good. Um, and that's pretty much it. I like the introduction of the Three Eye Tribe into the story. Um, not the actual introduction, but the introduction of their existence. I like that because uh, it does change a lot of things for the overall plot, that there is a uh, group out there that can um, hear the voice of all things once they awaken the third eye or whatever. So that, again, quite interesting to me. And uh, I do believe that's it. Yeah. So either way for this one, I don't know. There were things I really, really liked, and then overall it did feel a little bit, like people were saying, it felt a little short in some places. Uh, I I don't think, I think it deserves more than the 7.5, but I don't think it quite deserves the 8, so I'm going for 7.75. <sighs> Complex scores. 7.75, uh, third eyes out of 10. Um, ooh, rage use thighs out of 10. <laughs> third eyes, rage use thighs. Um... And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's it. I hope that I just said the same thing twice, didn't I? Forgetful, forgetful. Either way, like if you did like the video, comment down there and tell me what you thought of this chapter and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Subscribe for more One Piece, both anime and manga, and a friggin' ton of other anime and manga. We got Boku no Hero Academia read through video coming up tomorrow from when this is posted. Yojo Senki review coming up sometime after this. Lots of things. That is it. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.